Hello, I'm Dominic Hodges, Managing Director of John Sisk & Son UK Civils. I'm here today to introduce Respect Our Road Workers Week. You may be aware of the important work being done by Safer Highways and Stamp It Out, and Sisk is proud to be supporting them in 2024. During the campaign week, we will focus on the importance of ensuring safety and respect for those undertaking works on public highways. In the first five months of 2023, National Highway recorded 123 road work incursions and have at least one report of abuse every day. This included physical and psychological abuse, an incident which put lives in danger. During this week, I urge us all to stop and reflect and consider why these events happen and learn from others as they share their own personal experiences. I also want to open the conversation about how we, the construction industry, can collectively act and take individual responsibility to drive positive change. You're about to hear some stories, real stories from road workers and project leaders highlighting abuse they or their teams have suffered simply while doing their job. These stories will add perspective to the campaign and remind us all to think respect whilst out on the roads. My name is Ian Lee, uh, I'm National Traffic Management Manager for John Sisk and Son. Incidents are, are, are daily, unfortunately, um, and they're just the, re they're the reportable ones. Um, common incidents are verbal um, through to, um, you, you know, abuse as, as frustrated customers, road users go past. So the other end of the spectrum being shot at um, with, with air rifles and being hit with pellets. It doesn't matter what end of the spectrum it is, that, that abuse just isn't acceptable. My name's William Preen. I'm a gang of supervisor with Sisk on the A12 junction 25 to 26. Um, every day I pretty much get abused in one form or another from um, passers-by. Um, that can be verbal, it can be by hand signals, um, yeah, it varies. If there's ever an accident, so there's a delay in traffic, then you can be sure there's going to be more. For them to direct that level of abuse at us, then they must be wanting to cause harm to us. So I don't want to give them the satisfaction. So I feel the most effective way I can deal with it is not reacting, which is what I do. Um, and I, so I, I tell myself it's like, I have to wear PPE on my job, so I tell myself now that I'm getting paid to be abused as well, because that's the most effective way that I can handle it. My name's Jack, I work for Chevron Traffic Management. The most you get is when you're shutting a road, when, you, when you're pushing everyone off of the main road, round roundabouts, following diversions, they don't like it and they're unhappy to do so. So you have them pull up at your gates where they're just not meant to be in the first place, stopping in the middle of a roundabout and then they will just hurl abuse at you. Some of them are nice, just want to know where to go. Others will be hurling abuse at you, every, everything under the sun, threatening to beat you up, all sorts. So you, you see a lot doing this job. I'm PJ Gadania and I'm a project manager for John Sisk and Son. When I became a project manager, the thing that I didn't expect or was really prepared for is getting a call where someone's saying a member of the public has been abusive. It's quite unnerving because it's something that you have no control over. We can write method statements, we can write risk assessments, we can change methodologies and make the workplace as safe as possible. But how do you plan for members of the public coming in and abusing your staff? The thing that makes it hardest is when the operatives and the people that experience this then try and play it down as well. Because, you know, they're just like, oh, you know, Pudrit's it's happened before, it'll happen again. And I think that's the most frustrating thing that, you know, in their minds, they can't see an end to it. But if you're already having a tough time at home or financially or with your health, you know, you want everything else to be as good as it can to help you in areas where life may be harder. So then if you're coming in and job's harder than it needs to be, it just adds to what could already be a tough life. My name is Wayne Kelly and I'm a site supervisor for G McFadden Civil Engineering. I'm old school, so it's a bit different now and these days, but years ago you'd you know you'd get sworn at from motorists and you'd just you'd walk off. 
but as, as time goes on, you think about it, you think, well, I don't, I don't really need this, you know, I don't come to work to get abuse. We was on a project, barrier was lifted, car went through, and a bag of excrement was thrown at the security guards. Uh, car drove on, the number plate was taken of that car, I think they were later questioned by the police. There's been another instance of a car going through and a corrosive substance being thrown out of the car. It landed and it, and it actually burnt the tarmac. And that actually happened, yeah. You know, it's quite, it's quite scary. We are real people. Um, we do have feelings. And, and that perception of, of our industry being, you know, tough and, and, and things like that, we need to get rid of that. Um, that perception. Just before somebody actually, you know, winds that window down or toots that horn or decides to throw a bottle of whatever at, at one of my colleagues, um, just have a little think before you do that. Is it going to benefit you? Will it get you any quicker through the roadworks? Um, yeah, yeah, the thing, respect, education, I think, you know, hopefully that message will get across that we are human. When you shout abuse, you are actually shouting abuse at the individual rather than if you have frustrations with a pro project, then there are avenues out there that you can make complaints about it, the time, delay, whatever. So rather than attacking the individual and think upon that individual as a friend, a family member, you know, we are just normal people. We go to work and we try to do the best job we can within the constraints that we have. It must affect people's mental health because you do get abused a lot and I'm sure we're losing a lot of good people due to the strain of the abuse that they're getting day in day out and it's a shame because like I said the good people they're only doing it as a job they don't want to be an inconvenience to anyone but it just so happens they need to be that night when they get all the abuse. Everyone does a job and everyone comes to work not to be abused so why are road workers seen any different and I think I'd ask people in places of influence, people, project managers, senior sites on staff, and ask that how easy is it for the public to get their frustrations out to the people that make decisions. So maybe just take a minute, look at your sites, and see how easy is it for people to vent their frustrations at the people that are making decisions, rather than our road workers, who are just coming in to do their work and go home safe. Thank you to those who shared their stories for this video. Everyone has the right to go to work and feel safe, and we have a collective responsibility to make sure this happens. The industry has to give road users and communities impacted during construction works the very best information as road works progress to avoid conflict and find solutions which work for us all. This week, Safer Highways are holding various public events where we hope our customers will come and talk to us. We want to understand what frustrates road users most about roadworks and collaborate together to achieve mutual respect and collectively reduce incidents and incursions. At CISC, we have a week of events planned which support this work, raise awareness and provide our workforce with new skills to deal with issues effectively. We will give consideration to managing abuse and incursions on the network, covering topics such as empowering our workforce to report instances of abuse the role of technology and cross-supply chain communications. The feedback from this week will be used to drive improvements across our operations. Our key campaign message is whatever you're doing today, please remember to think respect.